Hey guys, long time no see. We're gonna be doing another video, a makeup video. Um, gonna be probably chit chatting between the video, probably not. In this video, I know the last two videos I've been saying I was gonna do a giveaway and I still have not yet to announce it. I apologize. Um, if you watched my last video, it says chit chat and get ready, I believe I named it. Um, I was gonna do a giveaway, but I ended up going on vacation and when I was on vacation, um, I did record a little bit, like kind of like a vlog type thing. Uh, I'll probably do that video Friday because obviously I still have to work. I still have to catch up on my things here at home, you know, clean up, laundry, dishes, the whole enchilada. It just never stops. So luckily I'm doing one video today. So here we go. I'm probably going to be doing, I'll, announce, I'll, you know, I'll explain what the giveaway is later at the end of the video. So if you don't mind, continue watching or you can skip on. Excuse my hot mess, like, I look, look at my little hairs. Um, but yeah, guys. Okay, so obviously, you know, I went to go see my sister, and it was really long overdue. Um, again, if you watch one of my videos, I'll talk about how going to Ulta to go to see what my skin tone was to go find my perfect tone. And I finally went with my sister and her sister in law, Mari. And I tried the Juvia's Place Foundation. It was awesome. I found my shade. It's actually pretty easy to find my shade. But they were out of the out of my tone. They only had the sampler. So I couldn't get it. Um, I didn't want to walk out of there without something to be able to play with. Because I want to try. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm just trying to do foundation. So I don't know which one goes perfect with my skin. You know, like, like I told you guys. Um, I had asked on Facebook, you know, questions. Like, I, I work. My skin is, like, not dry, dry. But it's not oily. Like, it's smooth. It's good. I just don't know how to explain it. But, like, I know the texture of my skin. Um, so I didn't want anything that made me look... I didn't want nothing too heavy and just not oily. I don't know how to explain that. Like, I want to look bam when you look, but not too bam because I like to kind of just keep it natural. It's already weird enough for me to be wearing foundation because I never ever saw myself wearing it. It's nothing bad. It's it's actually really something I wanted to try. Want to you know look at or you know do like to go with my makeup looks. I had a lot of cool females come at me and tell me like, hey, you know. Um, I think you're, you're, you know, you're so good at eyeshadow, but if you just throw on some eyelashes and maybe some foundation, like, it'll just make the whole look pop. And they were right. So, shout out to those females. You know, you guys are really awesome. I love to see woman on woman love. That's, that's good. You know, we need that nowadays. There's just too much hate going on. And I don't think that's, I don't think that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, I used to be like that. I used to be like, oh, you know, they had to wear that much makeup to look this good. But it's nothing wrong with that. Like, it's not it's just a thing you know it's like art on a face and if a female feels like they want to wear makeup then so be it let that female be and if i want to go to the grocery store looking like this i'm gonna go to the grocery store looking like this but i hope every female can understand that you are beautiful in your regular skin tone with makeup without makeup um don't be scared to try makeup yes you do have natural beauty but you know play with your makeup a little bit if you want to like you don't you don't have to but Nothing, nothing nobody can say can make you feel like you can't do anything that you want to try to do. Because I started to do it and I still can't believe it half the time. But here I am doing it. Now I'm doing videos. I'm getting out of my comfort zone and, and I feel like I'm just getting a little bit better in this. So I'm going to show you guys what I got real quick. I had picked out some foundation at Walmart from Milani Cosmetics. It's the Golden Tan Shade number 10. That's what it says. It says Conceal Plus Perfect. It's like a foundation and a concealer in one bottle this one believe it or not i believe was really my skin tone but i started to realize that when i would put it on it'll give me more of a tan and i did not know that it's good to base off what your skin tone is right here because it's obviously not the same tone shout out to the girl i all took because she explained that to me so it's it's close i think it's close i mean it was pretty close but it was just way too tan so I got, now I have the, again, I'm just trying whatever I picked up. I was trying to go for the uh, NYX foundation, but they didn't have samplers. So I couldn't find my right shade, and I didn't want to, you know, get, get in trouble for using the bottles that they had there. So I have the Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm sorry, the glare is not going to let me show it, but I will read it. It says Matte Plus Poreless. 
It's normal to oily. I'm not sure if that's good for me, but we're gonna find out. Well, I mean, I already used it. Believe it or not, I already used it. And the the, the lady at Ulta, well, the young lady at Ulta, when she was helping me, she was telling me, she's like, you don't really need another foundation. Like, you don't have a lot of marks on your face. She was really, really sweet. You know, she was really telling me, like, you know, I don't think you should use a lot of it because you're gonna end up messing up your, your skin. And, you know, you, you don't need it as bad. But as you know, I hate my bags. Like, that's the worst to me. I barely started breaking out. I never used to break out, but I think when I started getting more stressed out, obviously like everybody has stress every day. You know, we have stuff to take care of and stuff that, you know, stresses us out. So I started breaking out. And you know, I just I just don't like how this looks right here. You know, like and <laughs> like I said before, I have um, you know, long sideburns and like I really wanna just cut them right here, you know? But like I told you guys, I have little pelitos right here too. And obviously I have a mustache everybody is different okay i have little hairs right here too like they're not thick but you know if i get close if like if you're close to me or like if i look close at myself because i don't think nobody be that close to me anyways besides babe you can see my little pelitos and i've always told myself like i don't want to get rid of them like that's just natural that's okay but when i put on my foundation it's starting to get it actually bothers me because i can see my little pelitos and it's so weird so I'm thinking about going to go get, you know, I might just like shave this little thing, shave my little pelitos right here off. Like I just have little hairs here and there, but for sure get my stash done. Um, I have, I don't, I don't wax my eyebrows. I used to wax my eyebrows, but I naturally have an arch. Like I don't put my arch. It's naturally there. It's just when it gets, when I don't get them done, they start to get really, really hairy. So obviously you know how to pluck them, but I follow who, what, what my what my line is. I had once was looking at my uh, eyebrows wax, and they took my arch away. Now I understand um, girls are like you know just simple, but I like to have a little arch. Now I don't want no crazy like. Ooh. As I was saying before, I was really interrupted, guys. I'm running out of space on my phone. I'm recording on my phone right now. I'm recording on my camera because this is gonna be faster for me to be able to record. So hopefully it doesn't cut me off again or else. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, right, so back to what I was saying about my eyebrows. Um, so again, I don't. I I'm gonna go ahead and um, start on my eyebrows real quick. Try to speed up the process. I still use the Milani Cosmetics. I wanted to find the Anastasia um, brow dip at Ulta while I was there, but I didn't see it, or I just really was so concentrated on the foundation that I forgot to like look extra more. And plus, it was I was I feel like we were taking forever. So I got the. Milani Cosmetics Medium Brown Number 3 I really just grab a little bit of this Obviously I brush my eyebrows like, I'm, I'm going to try to get it together I literally just grab a little bit of this And I shade it in Because I don't feel I don't really feel like I need a lot You know Like I just brush my eyebrows Look I'm going to show you guys after I brush my eyebrows I feel like if I brush them really good After they're plucked and everything They look decent You know what I mean Like I don't feel like I need to do them Again, because I'm trying not to use as much as makeup as I, I feel like I have to. But I just go ahead and add like a little bit of color. Probably right here where this little gap is at. Because obviously like it's, my eyebrows are not perfect. Like I have hairs that go up and like, you know, just like a little gap right there. So I just shade it in a little bit. And add some of that thing right there. And then I just brush it out. Again, nothing too crazy. And like, I think there was one day I was, I didn't like, you know, I don't know how to do eyebrows. And I started right here, like literally right here. And then when I looked in the mirror, it was stick. And I said, whoa, I'm not going to do that again. I do not want my eyebrows looking like that. I want it to look as natural as possible. So, you know, I wish I could do some bomb, bomb as eyebrows. Like I see a lot of females, like they're, brows look like they were touched by the heavens and it looks so good but i cannot i don't think i'll be able to you know because i feel like i have too much hair to be able to like i have too much hair to be able to get a good eyebrow look that if i like if i use the brow dip i feel like i'll just make it more thick than what my eyebrow really is and obviously i don't want it thick i want it again for the millionth time as natural as i can get it to look so that's all i'm going to do to my eyebrows um probably if i get a little bit um more experience doing it i'll probably you know like actually do like the whole shape and you know shade them in some more but for right now that's all i do i don't do a lot 
Um, then I'm gonna go in. Oh, then, now I did get a new concealer as well from ColourPop, the No Filter Concealer. Shout out to ColourPop because believe it or not, I actually dig this. My main main concern to me is my circles. And that's the main thing that I really do not like. Obviously this, but this is only because I have like little pelitos. So like I've dealt with it all my life. I'm gonna continue to deal with it. So you see like my bags. And I have like little spots right here. We got like super super tan the next day we went downtown and we were just walking we were in the sun and me and my sister were tripping out we're like oh my gosh like we literally just got our shade matched yesterday was it yesterday before yesterday it was the day before no it was yesterday it was the day before the day before that day we had got our color match and we had just got tan i'm like oh my god like the, the shade's not gonna fit us like what are we gonna do but we use it anyways um <laughs> i feel like we look okay we look good that day for the party so I'm gonna go ahead and with my concealer, I'm just gonna throw some on here on my eyelid. Mm, bom, bom, bom. Just like I usually would with anything else. I did get a sponge. Shout out to my little spongy. Like, I feel so weird. I feel so sophisticated. No, not sophisticated, but I feel prepped now because I never used a sponge. I always used my finger. Literally, I'll go like this. <laughs> Or I would use a brush and like I just use a sponge now for everything like it's what it is but it's, it's hard to get used to because like I don't know like I'm just tapping it like are you supposed to rub it are you gonna tap it I, I don't know but I'm gonna do what I do in front of you guys And the middle of August and the end of August is gonna be crazy for us as well. So I'm gonna try to my I'm gonna try my best to continue with uh, uh, do some makeup looks. But honestly, guys, it's gonna be super hard. It's we have to get our apartment ready. We gotta clean it out and get it ready because we're gonna turn it in already. Um, I haven't really talked about it much, but we are um, moving out of here. It's long overdue that us buying a house, cause that's what we're doing. It's, like I wish we were really, really busy with that this past month and a half. You know, getting paperwork ready, doing whatever they needed to do, get, like doing that. You know, um, and like I said earlier, it's the same thing. Like you know, I have to juggle work. You know, I start to be able to cook and clean, and my children, I spend time with them. You know, make time with them because I just cannot. Can I express how important that is, especially you know for my girls? Because even if they're young, especially Zayli, she will let it be known like she's bored and she wants to go outside and she wants to do something, and that's okay because I prefer for my children to be outside playing or out doing something than stuck inside the apartment. Um, so yeah, we're in the process of getting our first house. It's actually pretty funny too, but I can't say exactly why, but. If everything goes good, which I believe it is, because we didn't got the thumbs up, um, we will be out of here in the end of in, of the end of August. Our closing day is scheduled for the end of August. Okay, I guess I'm so sorry. So I'm just adding this purple glitter. It's called Hollywood on the same palette. This again, this is just a natural look. I'm just throwing it on there. I'm not cutting no crease. I'm just throwing it on there. Give me a little shimmer on my eyes. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, um, it's scheduled for this for the end of this month. So we have that going on. We just got back from Chicago, and next week we're supposed to be going to um, Galveston 
We should probably be our last trip before school starts because I believe school starts in two and a half weeks or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, don't get me lying. So I still have to get school school supplies. I have some school clothes, but I want to be prepared for winter time so I can get some school clothes. And Alayanti just turned seven years old last week and Wednesday. Um. So, and not only that, even though she did turn seven, right now she's a seven size eight, but she moved up to a size eight because my baby done got chunky, she done ate good. So I need to, you know, get her some more clothes, get ready for the winter because I can't have her in shorts. She has pretty enough um, summer clothes, you know, but summer's only gonna last so long. Um, at the same time, I have to get this apartment cleaned up, start packing up things. Um, labeling things, separating things, but not like try not to separate what we do use compared to what we don't use because I have a bad habit of doing that. Like, I'll literally pack some stuff that we need and I wear them in, and I'm like, oh my god, where did I put this? Where did I'm picking it out of the box? Like, I really cannot be that dumb. Okay, so that's it for this, guys. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the concealer. I'm gonna conceal my eyes. I am looking at my phone, by the way. Cause I feel like I can see this. I'm not gonna put too much. I feel like I put too much already, but it's okay. We're gonna dab it out. Um, obviously I love I love doing my makeup and I love doing videos, so I'll probably have my own um babe. It's talking about having having my own giving me my own makeup room. Uh, I had to order a vanity, but I don't, the reason why I don't want a vanity so much is because, <laughs> like I said, I'm blind, you know, how am I going to do my makeup from far away, but I think I just love, 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 love a vanity, like, I want it pink, with lights, I want the whole room thing. and not only that, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm not just going to be doing makeup, I don't really like to, I don't really like to talk about my plans, because I feel like maybe I'm going to jinx it, um, but I do have an idea, um, a goal that I want to reach or something that I want to do is kind of like my, like my own home business thing and I have to get some I have to still have to get my equipment for that so that room is going to be specifically for me to do my makeup videos for the other stuff that I pray to God that works out well for me so yeah that's that so after we get to the move and moved in you guys will probably see me start posting more um and if after this whole change goes on between the house I will try to uh, find a different employment. Something's gonna work better for me and my daughters, and just me in general, so that way I can try to focus more on my, what I really want to do. Um, like I said, it's not gonna happen in the blink of an eye. It's gonna take time, but I'm okay with that. I'm patient. Um, things doesn't happen in, this, in the snap of a finger. It's everything includes hard work, patience, and honestly, just hopefully not stress, but. I mean, if it does, it does, right? Me, we have made it. A lot of people don't believe it, but I feel like we made it a long way. And we're just going to keep going and do what we have to do because we have two little girls that look up to us. And we're going to do what we want to do. And plus, you know, you just never know what more is to come. I'm 100% sure that they're not going to be our only children. So we got to be able to make room for more. Just in case, right? Okay, so you see how you can still kind of see my little bumps, but I don't think I put enough right here. I don't know if it's so yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I put enough, to be honest with you. I don't know how I feel about the sponge. I don't know if it's the same thing. As the brush. But for some reason, I feel like I'm going to go back to the brush. I don't know how I feel about this thing right here. It's not really my cup of tea. I don't know if it's me. Excuse my children. Okay, so compared to my neck, please tell me what do y'all think about this being my tone, like my skin. But don't forget, I did get a little bit burnt. I probably got a little bit crusty because, um, like I said, we were outside. But this is me for now. 
I'm gonna add a little eyeliner real quick. I hope this I hope this thing doesn't cut me off because I literally don't have any storage in my phone. So okay, so I can't do this. So excuse me. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand holding a mirror because usually I need to use my mirror that stands up because I'm blind, but whatever. So on my left eye because I I don't know it's weird I like to start on my left eye and the inside because I could give it the shape that I need it to be. Too close. <laughs> too close. Too close. Okay, so I have the left light on. So yes, I am weird. When I do the left light, especially when I'm just holding, with, doing it with one hand, having to hold a mirror, I start. And see, like the bad thing is, like I have to look this way because my camera thing is on this side. But I have a bad habit of looking at myself. Um, I have to start from this side and work my way out, only because I feel like that's the only way that I can get it right. All right, so again, I'm, in a way, every time like my phone focuses, like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm backed up. This is me. I'm gonna click it. This is how the shade looks on me. When I get closer, obviously it gives me the shadow from my phone and my mirror that's in front of me. So I feel like it's giving me a dark look. So it kind of makes me look a little bit light. I have not got any bacon, like baking stuff. Oh, what is it called? Um, setting powder? Is that what it's called? Um, I haven't got any of that yet. But like I said, this is just foundation. Concealer, I put my concealer first because my bags are really bad. I'm not going to put some again because I don't want it to be too much. Obviously it's a lighter color than my foundation, so I'm not going to want that. Uh, that's just not my thing yet and again i'm probably not even doing it right so please don't judge me i'm gonna throw some eyelashes on real quick um and probably throw some lipstick on and again this is just a normal simple look of something to go to something quick i really just wanted to do this so you guys could see this uh foundation that i chose okay so i'm gonna go put on mascara so i can go ahead and put on my eyelashes And I am using the Milani Cosmetics Mascara, highly rated. Sorry guys, I literally, it's like an hour or two later from where I stopped the video. Babe came home, so we had dinner. We talked a little bit. And now I'm back. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some eyelashes on. I know it's supposed to be simple, but I mean, why not use eyelashes, right? Let me find my other eyelash. I am still using the Pretty Lux lashes in the style expensive. I have the same. Um, I still have them. Um, I don't use eyelashes a lot ever because they're too big. <laughs> I'm mean, like they're long, and I wear glasses. And like if I put my glasses on, like obviously it's not. And I don't have my contacts on. But I am gonna order my contacts. Like no BS. I really should have done it today because today was my day off. But I'm gonna call them in probably Friday morning or tomorrow while I'm at work. I'll call it in and have them ordered because I really am just tired of wearing a glass tired of wearing glasses. So let me put this glue on. And you know what? This is Babe's phone that I'm using. I changed over to his phone because my my daughter has my phone. And I feel like I look light when I'm not, you know, like my foundation's still on. 
obviously. Why wouldn't it be? Guys, I'm like super full from dinner. And I really just want to go to sleep right now. <laughs> Again, this is a simple look, so I'm probably going to add some lipstick. I'm going to go with Life Glam's Peach for the Stars. I think I think this was the one that was like I used last time. And it was really light, but we're going to see it right now. Hold on. I like this. Oh my God, you scared me. Okay, so this is it. I actually like it. Last time I put it on, I didn't like it. But this one actually came out pretty cool. cute. Maybe because I left a simple look. I didn't have no color on me. It's just gold glitter. A little bit of brown. I feel like my eyelashes look weird right now. I don't know if it's because my hair down. So I feel like I have a lot of hair here. And no hair on the side. Excuse you. Simple. Nothing crazy. I feel like the eyelashes are too crazy, but... I'm gonna get some ones. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I think I think I wanted to try out the Batty B lashes. I'm gonna kind. I'm gonna catch me some of those. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay. So now let's talk about the giveaway. I know I've been holding. I've been putting it back for so long. Okay. So the giveaway. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Okay. So. As you guys, some of you guys know, Let's Do Makeup. Let's Do Makeup has her own merchandise now with her label. I guess, I don't know how you would call it, label, brand, I don't know how you would call it. But she has these tank top, tank top, two tops. I call it two tops because it's the type of shirt that lands on top of your belly button. These are for... This is an extra, wait, let me make sure before I lie to you. This is a double XL, okay? I'm chunky now. I got lonjitas, so I obviously can't wear this. I did not order this for me. I got my own shirts. I got my own shorts, but obviously I didn't get me something like this because I know I can't wear it. So, these are for... 2XL. Honestly, I feel like this would be like for big titty bitches. You know, y'all bitches that got big ass titties and a, a, like a nice stomach, like a little tummy. Or if you know, even if you have a tummy and you like to wear stuff like this, hey, all you go for a girlfriend. But this is it. I have a gray one. It says baby girl. And yes, this is original lens to makeup. No, they are not used. They're brand new. They've been sitting in their package. Okay just waiting for me to decide what the giveaway is going to be this is the black one okay so there's two of them because it doesn't show me who likes my videos on youtube but it does show me who can comment on them so let's do that let's get thumbs up give me a thumbs up and share my video comment on my video every time you share my video that gives you an extra entry i think that's how i'm gonna do it and i will hi <laughs> my daughter she's looking at me watch i to say hi hi she's 
Please follow me on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Please follow me on the video. Yeah, so I want to get up to 30 to subscribers. I know it's not going to be a lot. It's going to be really hard to grow into that. But it's just something that I want to grow into. Something I want to keep doing. If you have any comments about, um, like, advice about makeup, give it to me. I'm really, 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 like, I don't mind comments. Like, even if it's a bad one. Like, I'd rather you guys be real than not. So, yeah. Guys, I look so weird, though. Like, I'm not dressed or nothing. Like, my hair is not. It's just... So, my pink faded away, right? Yeah, I And this, my blonde shows. And I'm just going to go back to oh, a different style. Yeah. But it's okay because I rocked the pink as much as I could. Like, I did that. Yeah. I rocked the pink. The pink was neat. Um, everything about pink. But anyways, you guys already know that. So... So what I, the price that I used real quick, I used the Shadow Me palette from Lifeland. It's bi monthly, $19.99 a month. Um, if you don't like it, you can skip it. If you don't have the money for that time, you can skip it. Um, it gives you six new shades almost every single time. Lippies. Three lippies a month. $19.99. These are every month. If you guys don't like the shade or if you don't like the whole set, you can change them out. And they won't charge you, or you could so this they have a trade option that yeah. you could trade them in for another one. Yeah. They also have the Morphe Me um, monthly subscription that's three to this game, it, it's gonna be for three to six brushes for the month, depending on what they want to do it. Of different Morphe brushes, I already got some. This is just some that I have laying right here next to me. Also, $19.99 a month, can't beat that. You can stock up on your collections. Feel free to use my link. I have it down in the description box. Um, and I'll also have my um, social media in the description box in case you guys want to follow me, add me. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Please keep up. Um, if you want to turn on your post notifications and see every time I post a video. Yeah. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. And Bye. What if I'm... Hi, I am seven years old now. You're how, much, you're how old now? Seven. She turned seven when? Uh, I don't know. I on Less, Last Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, guys. She's letting y'all know she just turned seven. She's a big girl.